Fraser Jackson and today we are at CCI with Terry Miller, the General Superintendent. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good. All right, to start off, what got you into this job? I'm oh, just loving construction. I worked my way into this position. I've been in this position for about four years now. Have you always planned on doing this? No, as a kid I wanted to be a farmer. And then as I became an adult, I started working in small jobs. Um, just kind of worked my way in. Life kind of took me into the construction field and just took off from there. What training or education did you have to go through in order to get to this position? I have just got my high school diploma and 20 years of experience of running my own business, residential building. What is your specific part and job in building the stadium? I will meet with the project manager, superintendent, and the foreman who we put on the job. We will talk about how much manpower we'll need, schedule, um, how much, uh, what we'll need for equipment, and then uh, we just work closely throughout the project to make sure we're, we're manned up correctly, we're not lacking tools, and make sure as I go on the site, I make sure safety looks good. And I'm guessing like you guys can't actually work on the stadium through the winter? Yes, we will. You will? We'll work all through winter, yep. We work, all of our people stay busy all winter. How does that work with the snow? Um, we move it. <laughs> There'll be some days that it'll just be too bitter cold or maybe too windy, or it might be unsafe um, to have our guys on site. But for the most part, we can usually find something that we need to be doing. I think last year is, um, there was a few weeks where we only worked a couple days a week, but otherwise most winters, we don't have any time off. And then if someone plans on going into this job, is there a certain path they should take or somewhere they should start, like an internship or? As far as what I do right now? Yes. Um, basically what we require is a high school diploma. Um, we say that an associate's degree in, in construction management is helpful, but not required. Um, and seven to 10 years experience in the construction field and terminology. And then does CCI specifically offer internships? We offer apprenticeships and we do offer a lot of trainings for our employees to further their careers. And some will work in the field with the guys, um, learning the field work. Some will come in and assist superintendents. We have people come in and assist uh, project managers and kind of learn all aspects. We had a gentleman last year that came in he worked with project managers and then superintendents along with the foreman, so he was able to see everything. And he graduated this year and we ended up hiring him because he's just a real good, motivated guy, um, very organized, and he thought he was going to be a PM to start in, but decided once he came an intern with us that he would rather start out as a superintendent. So he's a assistant superintendent right now for us. So it was a good thing for him to see everything. Are they able to come right out of high school when for an intern, if someone wants to come in right out of high school, I would recommend coming in as summer help as a laborer. You get to see all aspects of the job. You're, a lot of times you're cleaning, moving material, uh, helping out the carpenters, and you just get to see a lot more than you would even as an intern. And then before they come in for the job, do you suggest that they have some type of construction background? No, no. Just come in? Just come in, yep. We'll teach you and you learn as you go. And then I see back there you have some equipment. Do you want to? So these are the four main tools that we supply our assigned to our carpenters when they start with us. So we start out, oh, we got a four and a half inch grinder here. We put a cut wheel on here. It's got a thin wheel on it. We use for cutting steel studs, um, cutting any kind of metal down. We do a lot of steel stud framing, so we use it a lot for that, notching things out. Um, a circular saw here. We use a lot of this for our wood framing, cut two by fours, cut plywood, um, just basically anything wood we cut with that. Um, and then we have our reciprocating saw here. It's got short blades, long blades for cutting wood, cutting steel. Um, you can even cut an I-beam with certain blades. Um, it can do a lot of different things for us. And then we have uh, the hammer drill. We have their special bits <clears throat> they make, excuse me, for um, drilling through masonry, concrete, so we'll be using a lot of these. It's a lot of block walls down at the, the stadium, so any of our bathroom hardware, uh, we'll have to drill through that to get our screws to fasten into that. 
Ellen's here today. She is going to be modeling our PPE, which is personal protective equipment that we require out of all of our associates or uh, subcontractors on our job sites. She's got her hard hat on, her safety glasses. She's wearing clear safety glasses because she's doing work inside today. And she's got a high-vis vest. We also require above-the-ankle boots. Uh, work boots on all of our sites. All of our hard hats are adjustable on the back. They'll go to any size. Um, real easy to adjust to put on your head. So this is a, another pair of safety glasses we give to all of our associates along with the clear that Ellen's wearing. Them are for more for indoor use and we require these, or don't require them, most guys want these for sunny days working outside. So we give them both pairs. So are you in charge of like organizing and getting all the PPE for everyone? So our HR manager gives everything to them when they're hired. And then after that, um, I help the guys out if they tear a shirt or lose a vest or break a hard hat, whatever it may be, um, then I go and get what they need and make sure they have it. So when I'm on the job sites, I look for safety glasses, I look for high vis, all these things I look at first. It's one of the biggest, easiest things to pick out. Does CCI provide any community events? Yes, we just started last year. Uh, we started a community event where we had all of our large excavation equipment set up downtown. We had a, um, one block that we had set up with large equipment. Kids could come in and see the equipment work, um, playing sandboxes down there with some equipment. They could see how to pour concrete. They could help pour concrete. Uh, they were able to see um, toolboxes they were able to make their own toolboxes down there we had our guys volunteer some of our carpenters spent um, a lot of nights building all the pieces for them and they made jigs up for them to come in all they had to do is screw everything together so the kids got a kick out of that they had a lot of fun they were lined up all day long uh, I believe the thing started at nine o'clock in the morning and ended at two o'clock and it was non-stop people coming through all day. I can't remember the number of people, but um, that's gonna be an annual event. This is very interesting. Thank you guys for your time and I'm excited to follow the progress on the stadium. Thanks for having us. Of course. And if you're looking forward to a career at CCI, look at CCIWI.com. <laughs> <laughs>